once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Biggie546? Definitely hit that subscribe button if you're new. Like the video if you like the video. And I won't tell if you click that bell. But let's go ahead and get into this. So I wanted to jump on here and tell people, listen, as soon as Joe Judge took that press conference podium, we all knew it. Some people like to be more cautious than others, but you know it when you see it. This dude, Joe Judge, <laughs> I don't know how the league missed out on him. We're lucky that the rest of the league missed out on him, but this dude, Joe Judge, is the truth. I'm telling you he's the truth because you already know what's going on here. John Mara has been trying to sneak Jason Garrett in here. We like to talk about the Cowboys, but John Mara likes to put on his Jerry Jones impression every now and then. He tried to sneak Jason Garrett in here and probably the rest of the organization didn't want him in there as a head coach. So when he hires Joe Judge, he says, you can be the head coach, but we're going to have to bring in Jason Garrett. He's got that experience. Uh, he, he used to be in the organization. They, they just like bringing people back. And of course, when you bring in Jason Garrett, they say he has to come with Mark Colombo. Joe Judge did not want Mark Colombo in here. He didn't want Mark Colombo in here. And it showed. They obviously had different philosophies. It showed. Andrew Thomas wasn't getting better. Joe Judge, you know, medals with the offensive line the past three, four weeks. And all of a sudden, they're better. I mean, what do you think? Where do you think that came from? It's because he knows what he's doing. Get out of Joe Judge's way. John Mayer, get out of Joe Judge's way. He wanted to bring his guy in here that he knew that would fit what he wanted to do with this team, and he didn't let him do it, and now look, it blows up in your face. I want everybody to know that Joe Judge probably did not want Mark Colombo in here. Maybe he signed off on Jason Garrett, but he had, he had conflicting ideas. He wanted to bring in his guy, I'll call him Gooch, that's what I've seen the, the Giants offensive lineman, the old Giants offensive lineman call him, they call him Gooch. He wanted to bring him in here, they have similar philosophies as far as rotating the offensive line. He, you know, he did a great job with Quentin Nelson and those guys in, in Indianapolis. And he's a quality coach. So he brings him in here to consult. And Colombo starts throwing a fit. And, you know, he gets fired. He calls him something out of his name. We don't know what it was. But that's just what happens. And this is just the first sign to just let us know. He wasn't Joe Judge's guy. He's a John Mara guy. Look at what Patrick Graham did in here. Patrick Graham got onto the Giants and immediately made an impact. He was Joe Judge's guy. Jason Garrett was not Joe Judge's guy. And look at the offense. The offense just started to get better. And that's because Joe Judge has started to meddle with the offensive line. I also think Joe Judge has probably started meddling with some of these run plays because you didn't see anything like this in the beginning of the season. And around that same time that the offensive line started getting better, he probably started to mess with that playbook a little bit. So listen, John Mayer, let Joe Judge do what he wants to do. He's showing you that he can get the best out of this team. So if you made this deep into the video, definitely hit that subscribe button. I make Giants content, NFL content, so all NFL fans are welcome here. And until next time, it's Diggy546, and I'm out.